Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. What we're looking at here is a photo taken from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Looks like an ordinary plane soaring through the sky, but that's no ordinary plane. That is this one right here. A stealth photo taken by CJ from Colorado. Incredible photo reflecting sunlight as it was at actually sunset. It was during this moment right here, CJ took a photo of the clouds low on the horizon and that plane high up in the sky making its presence known. You really couldn't tell by looking at that photo right there, but CJ zoomed in and got that incredible photograph. Speaking of incredible photographs, got a brand new picture slideshow. Also got a photo of what looks like a dual sunset. We're going to analyze that photo here in just a second, and I'm going to show you what I found. It reminded me of the photo that came from Kenya. That kind of looks like a dual sunset to me, but more than likely that is some sort of a sun dog over there. Absent a halo, normally those are associated with halos around the sun. I don't see one obvious here because there's so much cloud cover. And that is kind of a unique color of orange. Very unique photo. Uh, don't know really what to think of that one. This one here, first glance, you think, wow, we've got two suns over here. And i got to be honest, it's pretty good because looking at the water here, you're seeing this secondary sun appear to be reflecting light on the water. But here's what I found after looking at this closer. That reflection is also going up in the air. You can see it here, and you can see it especially right here. See the reflection? and then see the, the light being cast up into the air, which is impossible. So what that is, that is a reflection of this, more than likely behind a glass taken from a boat like you see right here. And the reflection from the glass is causing this reflection to appear to be on the water, when in all reality it's just a reflection of that. And one of the photos you can actually see, there's a bright spot right here on the left hand end of the actual reflection of the actual sunlight right there. Check this out, you can see it on this reflection right there underneath my cursor. See it? See the reflection in the sky? And there is yet another reflection, and then one over here as well. So. At first, you know, at first glance, I thought maybe that that was a pretty decent photo, but you got reflections all over the place. There's one here on top of the boat, which obviously isn't there, and then there's a reflection going up in the air right there. That reflection is actually on the glass that's taking this photograph. It's, a, it's behind a piece of glass. Glass, especially taking photos of the sun, will cause all kinds of wild, reflective contaminants. Look, you've got one there. You've got one there, you've got one here, and then you've got one up here. I mean, there are loads of reflections. So that's a pretty good indication that the photo was taken from behind a glass. Hopping over to the Schumann Resonance. Got an unusual signature here. It looks like a rapid vibration or something in the resonance data that lasted for about three hours, about 36 hours ago. Kind of unique, not something you see every day. Don't really know the source. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. Another day at the office. More activity across the Caldera seismographs. Albeit small, but nevertheless, there's a steady flow of small energy around the Caldera. Old Faithful. Pretty quiet, so to speak, at least with regard to the activity we see at the other seismos. Now I want to take you guys over to Texas where I received a video. A gentleman by the name of Ralph noticed a strange sound in the sky, as you'll hear at the end of the video. He says he's never heard anything like that in this area. Here we go. What? Never heard that sound before. Some sort of a strange humming sound that appears to be coming 
out of the sky. He'd never heard anything like that before. Was uh, taken back enough to turn on his phone and start recording it. So don't know what to think of that. Not exactly sure of the location in Texas. I'm waiting to hear back. Since I hear back from Ralph, I'll share that with you guys. Here's a photo of the monsoon, one of the monsoons that made its way into the western valley. Seems like once they got to the edge of town, this was on the 30th, they kind of fizzled out. They were coming in from the south for a while. This is from the west over by Glendale. Photo sent in, and uh, I had a small video clip of, of the same cloud. Um, monsoons rolled in, but they didn't roll all the way through the city. Got chances of monsoon uh, yet again today. Here's a new picture slideshow I put together. New sky phenomena photo sent in from all around the world. Sylvia Loyalton, California. An epic lightning strike. Veronica, another lightning strike out of San Francisco, California. That made contact with the ground. Polenta, purple lightning strike. That too made contact with the ground. Faces in the sky by Polenta. You can see right here why Polenta took the photograph. That's not altered. That's exactly the way I received the photo. It's like a face in the sky. See it? That's why she took the photo. Also took these next photos here of what looks like a, a profile. She was describing that as a face of Jesus in the sky. And then over here looks like some sort of a horned beast in the sky. And here they are side by side. And that's what she saw in the sky at the same time. So she took the photographs. Houston, Texas, Sherry got some color in the proximity of the sun. You can see a reflection up there as well. I want to go back to that for a second. Sherry noticed that, and I just wanted to point out that too is a reflection. That's actually the reason it looks like it's behind the clouds is because it is. It's the actual sun reflecting off of the recording device, and the sun is behind the clouds. So is the reflection because it's the sun itself. It's the disk of the sun without all of the glare we see right there. So that's what that is, guys. Unique rainbow. Not exactly sure of the location. And the sender did not give a name. AZ Monsoon from back on the 17th. This is some video footage that I took. Had some lightning very close to the house. This is a GoPro I had set outside. I was not outside in this lightning here. That Look at that. That was within probably 100 yards of the house. Shantae T out of Mesa, Arizona. Some of the most pink colored skies I think I've ever seen. Awesome photos sent in by Shantae out of Mesa, Arizona. Great job. Hawaii O Guru. Got a red sun way off in the distance here. Almost looks like it's tucked in behind some sort of wildfire smoke. Out in Hawaii. Look at that. Great observation. S.J. Mookie, Campbell, California. Another lightning strike that made contact with the ground. This one here did not. It's like a big ship up in the sky. There's a huge bolt that definitely made contact with something over there. Litchfield, Texas. Shelly B. Spectacular photo here of, of the sunset. Also included in the photo is a lightning strike. Star Atlas. Not sure of the location, but... This is a incredible little video clip of the sky in rare form. How about that? Looks like a big comet or something just took a side swipe into the atmosphere. Steve K out of Iowa. This is unedited exactly the way I received both of these photos. This one here is a, a double rainbow tucked in behind a purple haze. Here's a strange cloud of, of yet another what looks like a person <laughs> standing up on the cloud. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. That's how I received it. That looks like a human being standing up on the clouds. We all know it's not, but that's what it looks like. Kansas, Tammy S, a cloud here that's spewing out light, almost looks like a gator. And then here she sent in this photo of what looks like a big circle in the sky above town. Very unusual cloud up there all by itself. And then a double-decker rainbow from the same location. Tanya G. out of Washington in the Pacific Northwest. Bright orange sky at sunset. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. And sometimes I'll use them in a slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.